As you all have noticed, we're making big preparations for the new huge upcoming update that is coming to the game. There is currently a hefty 25% discount on the game going on right now, and we have also shared some of the cool new things common in our Twitter. We'll leave a link on both of those on the pinned comments for everyone to check out. And today, we have a very special video for everyone, because I'm going to show you all a tiny little bit of what is new with some of the characters and some of the new rooms. I can't go around and just show everything at once, because we don't want to spoil the fun of discovery of it all. Beware that what you are about to see is only a little portion of what is to come. And I would like to add that everything that you are about to see here is a work in progress and every value is subject to change. With this update, we are introducing cool and shiny new tools for the characters, aka purple weapons, each with their own interesting skills. The one we are going to play with in this video is the Houndmaster and his new weapon, Dragonfire Scattergun. It gives bonuses to our cast frequency, modifier damage, pushback and our crit chance, or similar to Rifleman's Vengeance buffs for example. The weapon comes with the new Bolt Barrage skill that fires 14 bolts in front of you, dealing 40 damage each and inflicting bleed. This skill actually has a gigantic damage dealing range by default and deals moderate to large amounts of damage on top of the bleed. Another huge change is in the runes tab, which has seen the addition of quite a bit of new runes and we are very excited for everyone to start tinkering with these. For some of the new ones that I wanted to highlight, we got Amplified Power, which makes use of your Banked Minor Stones to boost your damage by a maximum of 50%, which is quite a lot actually. And we have also listened to community feedback about the healing being scarce in the game, and we added new ways for you to be able to heal during a match. With Unwavering Persistence, you recover your health every 5 seconds with below 25%, which is very good to keep you from dying, useful in the early game mostly, because in the late game we all know we can get like one shot by things, so to make efficient use of this in the late game is going to be a little harder. Healing Flow on the other hand, I believe is a lot more useful in the later stages of the game, recovering HP for every 100 enemies that we kill. The last two rooms I wanted to highlight for now is the Decapitator that adds a chance for you to instantly obliterate enemies that have less than 25% health. You can already guess that this is particularly good for going to the overlord mode, since this also applies to the bosses that you're going to face there. And the last one I want to show is Extended Reach, which increases the range of your projectiles by 80%. Yep, 80%. And this is the setup I've chosen to run, so I'm also going to pick up Critical Mastery here because of the weapon that it already has a good baseline crit chance to it. As we fire up a match here, you'll notice that we also have some new UI elements to check out. Every character is going to have a new mechanic to it in the new upcoming update. For the Houndmaster, as an example, whenever you slay an enemy, there is a chance of it dropping a piece of meat on the ground. And if you collect it, this fetal meter here is going to fill up, but it only stays filled for a quick amount of time and quickly depletes, so you gotta keep hunting and feeding your dogs if you wanna keep the buffs it gives up. Side note about the meats that it drops though, they also have rarities, meaning that you can drop blue meats and purple meats and yellow meats and so on, which they feel more depending on the rarity. Whenever the meter fills to its maximum capacity, the buff will not deplete as quickly. Aside from healing the doggies, with every level of the meter filled, they gain accumulating buffs, which are quite powerful actually, such as flat damage, crit damage, move speed, and cast frequency. There are a bunch of cool new skills, mechanics, runes, and more coming with this update, and we are extremely excited and can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Stay tuned for more news about Soulstone Survivors, and go check out the sale going on on Steam. If you ever wanted to try out the game, this is the time to do it. Thank you all for watching, have a lovely day or night, until the next one.